his favorite horse. Maybe yep. we should pay very close attention. Mm -hmm. But look at the jump behind. It's really, you can just see the beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a clear moment in that. So he should be able to do flying changes. Very straight. And down to the halt. And straight forward. Mm -hmm. Just fixed his legs a little bit there. And I haven't a problem with that. I think that's good for the horse. Just make sure his legs are all standing in the right place. And into the medium. Now, if this is a medium trot, what's his extended trot going to be like? We well, you need to watch it. It needs to be twice as much as that. That's pretty fancy. And look at the change, the transition there at F. Now we're going to see this really extravagant shoulder in. I mean, there's a lot of angle, but he can keep the balance and well, you can keep it more power to him. Put it like this with the other horses, we could see an ear. And this one, we could yes, see his head. Absolutely. <laughs> and the half pass, not quite as forceful but still very adequate. The horse right out in front of him. And there. No, a little bit stuck. A little bit stuck, but he did yeah, keep moving. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah, keep yeah, moving it's behind. Very difficult. I'm watching it on the television monitor, it's easier <laughs> to see. Now look at this, this is extended trot. Zoom. It gives you goosebumps, huh? Look at the balance and the rhythm. And straight and now watch straight this as well. Yeah. And coming back. Mm. It's pretty nice. I could do a nine on that. <laughs> You're not going to see too many. Uh, no, eight. eight. Mm -hmm. The only brave one was Martin. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one, not quite as good. I think there's a little bit of tension creeping in. It wasn't quite as fluid. But on the other hand, the half pass is better. <coughs> also a horse with a very expressive tail. You can just see every now and again a swish of the tail when Andrew uses his legs. into the walk. Again, a little yeah, bit bouncy in the walk. Yep. Yeah, right. This is where it's going to fall yeah, apart, I maybe. Think so. I think Andrew will be using Just all his Very <laughs> little small steps and look at yeah. the tail. Yeah. Now we've got to rein back. Well, virtually mm, no hold. No. I mean, that's got to be two to three seconds. Yeah. It hardly was. <laughs> and look at the little tiny steps. It, it, I say it literally is like sitting on a volcano when they're this tense. And you just have to sit there and pray a little bit and just relax and not ask for much. And there's no overstep at all. He's not hardly tracking yeah. up. It's not, it's not hardly a medium walk, let no. alone a no. uh, extended. But he's, I think he's... And you can just see him bouncing there. Yeah. Yeah. So the canter work could be quite explosive, I think. I don't know. Well, no, I think you... I think it's a lovely more canter. more under control in the canter. Lovely yeah. canter. Mm -hmm. And really well positioned. Very supple in himself. And hopefully he can straighten up and not do a change. Yes. Very good. But you start watching some of these horses, yeah. and I find myself almost holding my breath. <laughs> And you can see the neck getting shorter and higher and the yeah. canter just getting a bit choppy. Yeah. Just sort of up and down, up and down, because he's thinking about the flying change, which is now. Mm. That was delayed behind. Yeah, that was not definitely that was not, not through. through. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can blink and you can miss yeah, that, yeah, but, but the was, hind legs yeah, didn't jump were, at the um, same time. Two of the two of the judges got it. Mm-hmm. And you see the strides are getting shorter now. He's not really covering the ground as well. He's a very impressive horse, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. And that doesn't mean to say he can't do it. It's just that he's tightened up in his back so his legs don't come. You know, horses have a horizontal spine and their legs hang down out of the spine so if their back is tight they're not going to have good movement they they physically can't move their legs if their back is tight and it tends to shorten them up if they're stiff in their backs And this is where uh, Andrew's experience really shows, though, because he just stays calm, just keeps riding. The only thing you can do is keep riding forward. 
the moment you start to take back, you, you're dead in the water. Yeah, the changes are going to be good. So I think Laura is going to hang on to first place oh, for yeah, a little no, bit. No question mm -hmm. about it, yes. Yeah. It was more level test the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Very good. And so Andrew Nicholson on his first horse, Armada. Just one more now before the um, first break. Yes, and they, they were quite tough yesterday in the trot up. They held four horses, two of which did not come back. This is one of the horse coming up, Quixotic, was held and then they decided it, it was all right. So, a very nervous moment. Hey Andrew, how you go? How'd you think that went? You want to bond with them first? or Because I can, it, it takes a few years to bond with, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, it's good for him. Yeah, it's you know he's not as easy as Pitt, and he's he knows what to do, and he tries very hard. But he feels like he tries a bit too hard, and you've got to sort of keep your leg off him and, and then on him and off and on. And he looked a little bit of a tricky ride, but you got a nine there for one year, can a half pass. I'm surprised they didn't get a few more nines. Well, I think there was the odd eight as well. <laughs> yeah, no, for, for him that's good. Yeah, I'm happy. Well done, thanks.